In our previous days, we have talked about uh, some of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So last uh, name which we have discussed, we have talked about here is As-Salamu. Yes, As-Salamu. Today, inshallah, we're going to talk about uh, the another name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is Al-Mu'min. al Mu'minu. Al-Mu'minu is one of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Surah Al-Hashar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned this. When Allah says, Huwa Allahu alladhi la ilaha illa huwa al-malikul quddusus salamul mu'minu. Al-Mu'minu. So what does mu'min means? The mu'min, the word mu'min, uh, its meaning according to whom we are relating it, it changes. Why? Because Mumin is the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al Mu'minu is the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also and also a believer is known as Al Mu'min. So how can it be possible that Allah is also Mumin and the one who is believing in Allah is also a Mu'min? So the meaning of Al Mu'minu is differs to whom we are relating it okay when we are talking about the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then the meaning of al mumin will be different and when we're talking about the believers the one who is believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then the meaning of it will be different as well so uh, al mu'minu it comes it derives from al aman when we are talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it means al mu'minu means the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one who gives iman the one who gives Iman and also the one who gives security <coughs> and one who gives security Aman it is from Aman okay so when we say Al Mu'minu is the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then it means the one who made people to believe the one who gave Iman to the people the one who gave Iman to the believe okay it is uh, when we're talking about the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Al-Mu'minu. And when we are talking about Al-Mu'min, like the one who is believing, so it means the one who is believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah is Mu'min, it means Allah made us to believe in himself. Allah gave us tawfiq, Allah has given us tawfiq uh, to us to believe in Allah and also believe in his angels his messengers his books okay so here uh, there is another meaning for this name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is tasdeeq it is tasdeeq tasdeeq means to uh, saying that yes it is true it is sahih it is correct so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent messengers then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has done the tasdeeq of these messengers as well how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent messengers and then in Quran Allah said that these are the messengers to whom I have sent towards you. They are all are in a, on a duty and they are on a duty from my, my side. I have given them this job. Okay, so they are doing this. So whatever they are saying, it is correct. Okay, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, mentioned these things in Quran images. So what is the blessings of uh, reciting this name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Like I said, the dust will be short inshallah. We're not going to make take it uh, too long. Inshallah, we'll just finish within five to seven minutes. Uh, okay. So when it comes to how, uh, how should we recite this name? How should we do the zikr of this name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-mumin? First of all, let me tell you what is the speciality of this name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-Mu'minu, the scholar says, especially Imam Ahmad al-Zarruq, he is one of the greatest scholars of uh, at tasawwuf Okay, one of the greatest uh, scholars of Islam. Imam Ahmad al-Zarruq, he has written a very, very popular book, which is largely accepted in all over, Arab, in all over the Arab world 
and in the so many universities this book is uh, is being taught okay still it is in the syllabus of so many universities he says that in it, the speciality of the name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is wujud at-ta'min wa husul as-sidq wa at-tasdiq wa quwwat al-iman li zakirihi okay the person whoever recites whoever do the zikr of this name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala al-mu'minu 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 if you are repeating this name al-mu'minu al ya you are you going to say ya al-mu'min ya al-mu'min ya al-mu'min ay ya mu'minu ya mu'minu ya mu'minu if you are saying this repeating this and doing the zikr of it wujud at-ta'min it means you are making a insurance for everything which is which is yours okay you are securing it because the meaning of al mumin uh, the name of allah subhanahu is the one who gives iman and also one who gives security one who secure your life the one who secures your wealth health everything which you got in this world the one who is securing your iman okay the one who is giving a security to you from the shaitan right from the manipulation of the shaitan and his team so wujud at-ta'min insurance for your life insurance for your belief insurance for your faith insurance for your aqeedah okay wa husul as-sidq and also you will get this uh, thing in, in in your heart that the things which you are believing in okay it will get more stronger inshallah nazim it means your iman will be strengthened you were tasdeeq you are believing in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it, it will be more stronger inshallah nazim and uh, the best way to do the zikr of al mu'minu is <coughs> whoever do this zikr you can do this for on yourself you can do this zikr for someone else who is suffering from such problem what is this he says 136 if you recite this name 136 times how many times 136 136 okay if you recite this name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 136 times on a person who is suffering from fear who is not sure who don't have a self-confidence who is always like kind of he's in a fear a scary person okay if you are reciting this name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this person 136 times you can recite for yourself if you are suffering from this thing what happens there are people they have no confidence right so whatever they're gonna do sometimes they commit mistakes they do mistakes why because they don't have confidence okay so if you want to build up a confidence in yourself and you want to free from the uh, the unseen fear okay and you don't want to be scared 